this is Sam with B Sharp Guitars, and I have with me today a Epiphone. This is a Hummingbird, uh, one of their acoustics. And of course, I had some of these that uh, come here uh, before, and, and um, always been rather impressed, even though I don't consider myself a uh, major acoustic guitar player. Generally, you're looking at a mahogany body with a spruce top, and you got the nice, good uh, cherry sunburst finish. Got Grover tuners on the back. Of course, only a typical rosewood fretboard. Uh, pretty good shape. Uh, the only thing I'm seeing is just uh, right on the back of that headstock. Uh, Some of stamped and stamped, carved in, used. But that's about it. Uh, I'm not seeing any effect on the plane. Not getting any frightened issues. So, uh, really, uh, of course, I had this come in before and did all kinds of videos for it. A uh, very solid acoustic guitar. Uh, very ringy. Uh, for some that's kind of made of mahogany, because I know mahogany tends to be a little more richer and darker, but it does cut through and does uh, ring a lot. So uh, probably don't need to have that microphone close to it if you're uh, micing it up playing at a club. So really not much else to go over. Uh, once again, this is kind of like uh, one of the upper end Epiphones, and um, I've always kind of been a big advocate of upper end Epiphones, especially. Uh, when it comes to getting the value for the money, because I think they kind of hold their own quite just fine you know, compared to uh, their actual gives and counterparts, but not having to pay so much. So uh, this is definitely a you know, um, if uh, you kind of bit of a good serious country folk player or you know have a good acoustic guitar in general, I'd say uh, this is definitely one of the ones to go for, especially if uh, playing acoustic is your main choice. Does come in a hard shell case, so a lot more extra bang for the buck. So really not much else to go over. So anyway, I am Sam with B Sharp Guitars, over and out.